I currently live in Manhattan, the greatest city in the world. I'm 35. My net worth is seven. And I ended up becoming the most popular millionaire they've ever had on the show. So, you know, Bravo did market research on me, and I basically get great ratings every time I'm on, and the fans love me. New York City is getting a splash of color. Meet Robin Kastner, the PR powerhouse who owns a lifestyle firm, Hot PR. She's also making her mark on the small screen, too. Robin is the only publicist here in the city to ever appear on Bravo's hit show, The Millionaire Matchmaker. Hello. Here we are in the pink palace, oh, Robin. so nice to see you. I love this pink that you have going on here, on here. So you. Yeah, I love it, too. Can you give me a tour of your place? This is awesome. Of course. Yeah. That's right. Let's do it. Out. Okay. Well, I call it the pink palace. It's my Upper East Side abode. Um, right now, I'm a First Avenue princess, but hopefully one day I'll become a Park Avenue princess. <laughs> I love pink, so I'm very inspired by pink. So my foyer is light pink, but my um, dining alcove is hot pink. And um, I love Marilyn Monroe. I love Audrey Hepburn. I love lips, so I have this like cool lips rub. And basically, I just buy what I think is comfortable and stylish. What do you think this says about being your own unique person? A lot of people are like, I live in New York, so I need to go to this black and white thing or just do something very subdued. You are above and beyond. I think when you're a kid, you spend your whole life trying to fit in and trying to be like everyone else. And when you're an adult, you really come into your own. And you're not afraid to express yourself creatively, whether it's through work, um, through TV, through home decor. So I think it's most important thing is for you to be uniquely you. Well, honestly, um, when they called me to be on Millionaire Matchmaker, I did not want to do it. But they, you know, kept interviewing me and then they said I could be on it. So I was thinking, well, it might be a good way to um, promote my PR firm, Hot PR. But also, I was single, so maybe, you know, she could get me a boyfriend. I like Hello Kitty. No, no. And you like pink, too. I like pink. No pink. Well, um, during filming it was really stressful because Patty Stanger did not like me. I don't know why, I mean most people like me, so it was just kind of like I had to listen to her yell at me and just be like, okay, whatever. Alright, so let's go check it out. Yeah. I think the most important thing I learned is don't let the Patty Stangers of the world put you down. You know, if you think you're fabulous, you are fabulous, no matter what people say. I was on Millionaire Matchmaker three seasons in a row, and I was also on Mob Wives. I was also on The Soup, and then The Soup called me up and they said, hey, we want to give you a Soup Award. And I'm like, wow, that's probably the closest thing I'll ever win to an Oscar. <laughs> so I went to L.A. and I accepted my Soup Award on TV in front of a live audience. It was really exciting. For most awkwardest date goes to Robin Kasner and Luke Morgenstern from Millionaire Matchmaker. And this, well, this was probably one of the most awkwardest dates of all time. <laughs> wow, you guys are still together? Of course. It's all about trust, you know? I get recognized like 30 times a day and it's really, you know, annoying because it's like I'd rather just like go about my day and not have all these people come up to me. However, I really do enjoy the fans and I'm, I'm glad that I make them smile. So, um, yeah, I mean, sometimes I really like it and sometimes I'm just like, no, it's not me, leave me alone. <laughs> Next time you see me on Bravo, I'm going to be on the Billionaire Matchmaker, not the Millionaire Matchmaker. It's only up, 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 up. Only, Robin, are you making a splash in your apartment with pink, but you're also doing it on the New York City streets. This is your whip, am I right? Yes, this is my pink Mercedes. And why did you want to get pink, a pink Mercedes? Why not? <laughs> that is the question. Why not? This right? is so fun. Do people just come and are like, oh my God, check out this car? Everyone loves my car. They think it's so cool. It's actually sparkle pink and I got it to match my nail polish. This one over here. Yeah. Oh my God. I know now why you make a splash not only in New York City, but on the reality TV screen. Can I get a ride in here perhaps? Of course. Yes. Shall we, Robin? Yes. Let's do it. Toodles. As Robin has shown us, appearing on TV is a great way to promote yourself. 
and your business. But no matter who's watching, whether it's colleagues or fans, you should always be true to yourself. I'm Christy Clements in New York.